Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create your own rational equation that has fake solution, okay? So first of all, we just have to decide what solution you want it to be fake. So let's say I want a fake solution to be x equals to 3. Well, we should also have a legitimate answer just to be nice, okay? So I want the fake one to be 3 and the legit one to be, let's say x is equal to negative 1, all right? And now, this is how you will do it. You know, when you have x is equal to 3, we can talk about the factor x minus 3. You just subtract 3 on both sides. And likewise, when you have x is equal to negative 1, we will add 1 on both sides. So let me just put down x plus 1, okay? Now, this is how we are going to create our rational equation so that 3 is a fake answer, but negative 1 is actually legit. First of all, we'll just multiply these two factors together, x minus 3 times x plus 1, all right? And you know we have to make this equal to 0 because when we have a product of two things, right, two factors like this equal to 0, we set the first factor to be 0, likewise the second factor to be 0, and you end up with this and that. Here is the punchline. If you want x equals to 3 to be fake, all you have to do is divide this by the same factor. So we just divide this by x minus 3. When you do so, in fact, you create a 0 over 0 situation, and that's the bizarre part, all right? And now, if you want to have x equal to negative 1 being the jet, don't divide x plus 1, all right? You can either leave it, or you can divide by something else to increase the difficulty. I will divide by another factor. Let me say x plus 5. It can be anything, it doesn't really matter, right? But anyway, this is the creation. But of course, this would be too easy, right? Now, this is how you can make the equation slightly more challenging for your students or whatsoever. First of all, of course, you can just multiply out the top, right? But before we do that, let's talk about the following. This is what I want to end up with, right? This is what I want to end up with. And now, this is how I'm going to show you, right? I want to create something plus something is equal to something. <laughs> That's a rational equation, right? So what we'll do is, I want to keep the same denominator, x minus 3, x plus 5, and then plus something else, x minus 3, x plus 5, and then I will also write down plus something else, x minus 3, x plus 5, and all this equal to 0. And later on, I will move this to the right-hand side. Now, for the first fraction, I want to get rid of the x minus 3. So I will have the x minus 3 like this, all right? And if I just have x minus 3, they cancel out. It's 1. It's boring. So let me put down another number, let's say 6, multiplied by that, right? For the next one, same idea. I'm going to have what? Well, I want to cancel out x plus 5. Well, I will just have the x plus 5 right here. And maybe I want to have something else on the top, so let me say I want to have x, okay? I will leave this right here as how it is for now. Here is the deal. If you multiply, you see, this is 6x, and then this times this is 6 times negative 3, that's negative 18. And then if you do this times that, this times that, this is x squared plus 5x, right? So. Here is the deal. On the top, this is what we have. And you know, ideally, we will have to combine items on the top. Now, compare the top right here. When you multiply this out, x times x is, of course, x squared. And let me actually write this down in black. And you know, you've seen this already, so I'm going to erase this as well. So, you see, this is x squared. And then this times that is 1x. This times that is negative 3x. So we have negative 2x. And then this times that is negative 3. This is what you want to end up with. And this is what you have already. So now, check this out. I'll put this down right here. Uh, the things that you want is that x squared minus 2x minus 3. And you want to set this equal to what you have already. Right? So this is uh, the things that you have already. Let me just say you already have. Already have. Right? And of course, that's just combined terms. That's not waste time. We have the x squared, right? And then 
5x plus 6x, that's 11x, and then that's negative 18. Well, this is what we have already. How can we make it actually balance to each other? Of course, we are going to use our blue pen right here. So now, of course, we have the x squared that match. That's good. Now, this is 11x. I want to end up to be negative 2x. So I will just subtract 11, I mean 13x, right? <laughs> and then next, I have negative 18 right here, but I want to end up to be negative 3. That means I should add 15, right? Because negative 18 plus 15, that will be negative 3. And likewise, this is this and that together will give us that. Now, this right here is what we are going to put down right here. So this is negative 13x plus 15, all right? And this is pretty much the creation. At the end, here is the final result. You can present to your student whatsoever. Of course, don't leave it as how it is. Be sure you cancel out the x minus 3. So we will first have 6 over x plus 5. And next, cancel out the x plus 5. Don't let us see this. So we have plus x over x minus 3. And this is equal to, as I said earlier, I will move this to the right-hand side. When I move this to the right-hand side, this becomes positive 13x. And this becomes negative 15. And the denominator is this, right? So I put this down over and make your student factor this out. So I will multiply this out for you guys. So x times x is x squared, and then x times 5 is 5x, and then minus 3x, so that's plus 2x. At the end, this times that is negative 15, right? Now, this is the final result. And I promise, if you solve this the usual way, you know, get the lowest common denominator, multiply everything by the lowest common denominator, you solve, solve, solve. At the end, you get two solutions. One is going to be 3. The other one is going to be negative 1. And you know 3 is fake, while negative 1 will be legit. And that is it, right? Hopefully you guys like it. That's it.